Hi guys. Hi again. How are you all? I appreciate. Agradezco su paciencia. And we're back. Okay, now let's see if uh, Nikki's on now. No, they're not on now. <laughs> we have to wait. They have to request me. Oh, they have to request me. No, I don't think so. There's a little like in the bottom, there's like two faces and then you click on that and you can request somebody. So it wasn't allowing me to do that previously. That's why I had to disconnect to come back. A ver si ahora si me, me, me entra. You see, it won't. Okay. Then I guess I got it. I got it. Yay. Yay. much for your time i really appreciate Aww. it from the latinx now family to you we really really appreciate it and i want to say that apart from this being my job and doing this i am truly a fan of you both yay thank you for reasons but first and foremost for being such badass women for representing for so many of us so i really have to say that from my heart to you guys oh <laughs> thank, thank you, you. That, that means a lot that's yeah that's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and so you guys have so much going on. You guys have your wine, your makeup, your clothing line, your book that I really want to get into because that's around the corner, like May 5th, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, yes. May 5th. Cinco, Cinco de Mayo. Mayo. Yes. 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 It'll be a good party day. Yeah, well. Did you guys do it with that purpose of like being for Cinco de Mayo because of your Mexican heritage? So actually, so we actually didn't really. We did, well, we did think about it. Our biggest thing, um, we were actually going to release it in the fall, uh -huh. and everything got done a little early. And with Total yeah. Bellas on air, we were kind of like, you know, we talk about the book on Total Bellas. Everyone sees the drama that our family kind of has surrounding the book. So we kind of were like, what's the earliest date we could do it? And they said May fifth, which. We, we were, were like, like um, that's yeah, perfect. Secret Maya. Like, they didn't think of that, but we were like, did you guys plan that? Because right. But once we heard it, we were like, perfect day. how the universe works. Destiny <laughs> is always in your favor because I feel like the universe yeah. just works so well with you guys. Like, even with your pregnancies. Like, I know Bree from, I was watching the show and it was like talking about how you, got, you had already decided you don't want baby number two, which I thought was really cool from a standpoint of a woman. You said so many things that I was like, Yes, Brie. Yes. Like, so it's really cool to watch. And then now you see you today. And as well as you, Nikki, just recently a month in engagement and ready to enjoy that, like, etapa of your life with Artem and boom, baby. How know, like crazy, right? I mean, it's like when you pray for so many things or just pray for the same few things a lot. I just wasn't expecting God to give it to me all at once. <laughs> so be careful what you ask for, but no, but I'm so blessed and excited. And especially with the pandemic going on right yeah. now and getting to be pregnant with her is the best. Like I'm, I feel so blessed. I feel like we need to show our baby box. Please. Like, oh my God. Right? Oh Man. my God. <laughs> Do and they our connect? Are do you guys so active right now? Do you feel because I know you guys have like your twin vibes and your twin energies, but do the babies have that too? Do you feel that? We do. It's weird because we feel like we're having twins. Like yeah. we're not pregnant with twins. We only have one, but for <laughs> some reason we feel like they're just on the same like I don't even know what you call it the spiritual level that we yeah. have like well we're having twins yeah, yeah. So do you guys i know you guys haven't announced if it was a boy or girl yet like do you guys know are you leaving that to again destiny universe and god so i'm having a surprise so i will find out till i deliver and then um i'll know in june so for our season finale total bellas uh -huh. um we're having the gender reveal and so we're gonna the whole world we're all gonna know together but do you have you guys been having like you know those that mommy dreams those feelings of like is it a boy is it a girl I, I know it's weird because i go back and forth like there's times birdie will touch my belly and be like my sister and i'm like oh my gosh i have to be having a girl and then the other day she was like my little brother and i'm like okay i'm having a boy and I'm like, <laughs> So I feel like I'm all over the place. I haven't had a strong dream yet, but I never did with Birdie. But um, I always go off like Birdie because I feel like Birdie yeah. knows, but she keeps going back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> and I have no, like, 
even with Breeze, I thought I would have had dreams about hers as well. And it's weird because I have it, I go back and forth. Like there's yeah. nothing I feel certain on. And like you hear so many people say they have those dreams or they feel it so strongly, but I don't know. And this yeah. pregnancy has been way different. Than has it? Three. It has. And um, so I was like, okay, I have to be having a boy. But then I was talking to someone, they're like, it happened to me and I ended up with two girls. And I'm like, okay. Can I get that something out of the way? You guys aren't having twins, any of you, right? Because I know no, no. it's in your genetics. No twins. Oh, my gosh. I <laughs> I'm getting that out the way. <laughs> um, you know, talking about your show, Total Bellas, I saw that you guys went to uh, Mexicali. And yes. you guys are now getting more in touch than ever with your Mexican side, with your Hispanic Latina side. Yeah. Is there something new that... Or something that you had forgotten from little girls from being in Raleigh and Mexicali and visiting that you had forgotten and it just now you remember you're like now I can't forget it or keep you know keep no, it yeah. up. I think what it was and people they'll read like in detail in the book the stories but I think it's because we lost this relationship with our father who's Mexican yeah. and I think all the hurt and the pain it was like you almost wanted to just x that part of you out. Yeah. And it was, it was a side Nicole and I always loved, and we loved our Latin side and just the culture and the family. But then that meant my dad was present. Yeah. So it was, it was always this weird thing with us until we finally just learned how to forgive and let go and just live. And um, it's really beautiful to see our journey with our father, to see how rocky it was, how bad it was, but how we're now all in such a great place. Right. Which yeah. then made us feel like we just got our like Mexican side back. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. Like it's, and we're just rejoicing. That. Right. And I think too, on top of it, like your, your roots are your foundation. In yeah. that you. And it's crazy because even when we went back to Mexicali um, recently, like we used to go to Mexico a lot when we were younger and, it was crazy the feeling I immediately got, like I already have chills. Like, you know when you're home, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. When, am I, when I'm in Raleigh, when I'm around the Latin community and how we embrace life and celebrate it, whether we have very little or a lot, like the Latin community, they're always celebrating. They're always yeah. happy. It doesn't matter how much they have. And, and always when I'm around that, I just always feel at home and I feel welcomed and I feel loved and there's no judgment. There's no class in it's, I, I just, I always, it's when I'm there, I'm just like, oh, this is me. This is who I am. And I felt that so much in Mexicali and going even to my little sister's school, because I had never been to a school in Mexico. Yeah. And so when I was there and just saw the kids and like the love and the, it's just, and that day they were all cooked their favorite dishes, their parents, and they brought it. And I'm oh. only in Mexico. Do they have this a like, luck a of luck course. that was so beautiful and yummy. Um, and it, it was just awesome. Like I a celebration did. without food, but you guys can tell that even from, you know, watching you and your career from the very beginning, to me, you guys always had that Latina in you, which is really cool because how you're saying how your dad has been absent, but that side really has it. It's still in you. Corre tu sangre. It's in your blood, you know? Yeah, exactly. It, it's really cool. And now, especially that you both are having babies during this time, now you can, especially having your dad around, now grandpa's going to have be around to show him more of the Mexican side and the roots, which is really cool. I want to go back into the yeah, baby exactly. talk because I feel like, that's what we all want to know, want to keep on talking. I first want to say one of my best friends is pregnant right now. And obviously, because of the pandemic that we're living, you know, she was like, I'm just so sad that you can't see my baby bump growing like all the all my girlfriends, like I feel like you're missing yeah. that. So it's really cool that you guys have each other and are pregnant at the same time, which that was not planned, correct? No, no it's actually so crazy how it happened. Yeah. So when I found out I was pregnant, I was very surprised because I did have- I was surprised yeah. even that she was pregnant because I did have it in my head that I wanted just one child and, and it just, it felt right at the time. And I do remember the night that I wasn't safe. <laughs> I do remember that. Me too. But <laughs> it's not a right really time to, to get it. pregnant. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Kids wear protection out there. <laughs> and so I I kind of, I was very surprised when I found out. And then two days later, she found out. And so it was just like, it hit her and I really hard. Very hard. Like we were, we were shocked. But then 
after kind of the storm passed and you kind of just realized like, okay, I mean, this is it. We're so happy. Well, when, what was crazy is when I was like feeling symptoms very strongly two days after I found out um, she was pregnant, I just kept thinking like, oh, twin thing, I'm feeling Brie. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But like, I couldn't get the thought out of my head to take a pregnancy test. So I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna do it just to lay this to rest. But like, I know I'm only feeling this because of her. When I saw positive, I mean, I, I didn't even know what to do. I was, I didn't even want to tell Artem or Brie. And I was like, who was the first person you told? Was it um, Artem? It ended up being oh, Artem because I was going to tell her. And then I'm like, I, if, if this yes. test is correct, like, how do I not tell my yeah, family? Yeah, of course. First? So I told him and then went straight over to Brie's house. <laughs> and, and then, then her and Bertie were there, which was really cute. But yeah. It, and it speaking of Birdie, Brie, I saw that you had posted something and I said like, you know, baby P. I mean, baby B, sorry, baby B. Does that mean that the n baby number two is going to stay with the B name? It yeah. is. So my husband who has like no request, request really in our marriage, the one thing he asks is that we all, all of our names start with B. Okay. So I'm like, I feel bad. I'm like, because like, his family, they they're, all they're all bees. Oh, they're all bees, Ryan's too. Family. Yeah, and then oh. he happened to marry a bee. And so, uh, which has been really hard. Like, we already have our boy name. Okay. Our girl name, we've been, like, it's been really hard for me because I'm kind of, he he and I aren't seen eye to eye. Oh, my but gosh, they aren't at they all. No? No. It's <laughs> and what about you, Nikki? Do you have your girl and boy names already? So, you know what? It's funny because we don't have a lot of names. Like, I have to match a Russian middle name and last name. <laughs> That's true. That's, That's really so hard. True. I was like, well, maybe we just do a Russian last name and then I get to do middle name too. But I do feel bad because it, it's very traditional there that they, boy or girl, they take the father's middle name as, okay. they take their first, the, okay, they take the father's first name as their middle name. And okay. then if, it, if it's a boy or a girl, they change, like they add something to it. It's really strange. So already the middle and last name is very complicated. So we're so stuck on like all these names of like what flows. Cause I'm like, I want it to flow. I don't want it to be like crazy. I can't. Well, you want to be able to pronounce it. And I had to pronounce it. Cause as of now, I can't even pronounce <laughs> my, my future last name. <laughs> And have you been, guys been craving things or like, or there's something that, because I had an aunt that when she was pregnant, you know, the song Dilemma by Nelly and. Oh yeah. Um, okay. It. She's like, every time I heard that song, I wanted a puke. So is there oh stuff God. that you guys are like, mm -mm. Yeah. I know it was weird, right? Um, gosh, what, I mean, I mean, we're really craving baked goods. Um, and acai bowls. Oh, I'll say a lot of fruit. It's we're great. craving fruit. I do. We have the same cravings, which is weird. What but are you even gagging at? Fish. And I love fish, but oh, <laughs> I smell it. When I see it, when I go to eat it, I can't do fish. Like, and see, I'm not a meat eater. So when I smell, especially like chicken, it makes me want to hurl. Like, there's just something about it. I'm like, no. Yeah. And you do pick up on scents, like, very strongly. Like, if someone didn't brush their teeth or, I don't know, right? Like, yeah, you do. Like, is there something no. that you're going through now, Nikki, that Brie, you didn't go through three, throughout your first pregnancy? No. Because that that's been kind of like your sensei. Like, Brie, I yeah. think it's like your yeah. baby book. She Everything is. you go to her, right? Yeah, everything. Well, I feel like, I feel like your thighs didn't get as big as mine already are. <laughs> <laughs> I would give Beyonce, like, a run for her money. Big thighs save lives, girl. Yeah, Big that's right. Got some jelly over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to take any more time from you guys because uh, I, again, I really appreciate it. I know you guys have so much going on. Again, can you remind everybody, Total Battles, when is it on? The book, when does it come yes. out? And anything else you guys want to say to all the women in the world, in the world no. and all the pregnant mommies right now? Yeah, yeah. definitely. So Total Bellas is every Thursday night, um, 9, 8 Central, only on E!, um, this Thursday is a really good one too. You want, I mean, this whole season's so great, but this Thursday is a lot of fun. And then, um, our book drops incomparable, uh, May 5th, but you could pre-order it now. 
Nice. And goodness. And you can go to Amazon to get it. You can yeah. get it a lot of places, but Amazon's so easy. And if you guys just want to catch up with us, because as an I'm not getting a baby shower, Brie on our YouTube channel is putting me through baby shower games. No. Next I was going to say, you don't have a baby shower. No. I'm we're praying things change, and I could have one last yeah. minute, but as of now. Maybe we could do, like, a social distancing baby shower. Or maybe yeah. an after shower. Yeah, so yeah after after shower shower here. Here. That's yeah. true. So, so we're after the showers then, come the flowers, and that's the baby. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I love that. Look at me. Just <laughs> invite me, please. Just invite me. Uh, I promise I'll be in the corner with tacos somewhere. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> awesome. And then what's really cool is our podcast drops tomorrow. We drop every Wednesday. But my dad's coming on. And we haven't had him on the podcast yet. And because of the uh, Mexicali episode that yeah. did, we're bringing him on to talk about his TV debut and then a lot of stuff. And he does a lot in Spanish, too. So I see. Let me tell you that I did love that. I was watching that uh, episode the other night, and I was like, I love how much Poppy is speaking Spanish here. Yeah. And that, but you guys are also learning, and I can already see Birdie catching on to that. Oh, and I'm sure, yeah. you know, baby Artem is going to be speaking Spanish and Russian at the same time. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, right? I know. I loved how I actually was trying to, like, speak Spanish. And my dad's like, uh, they all speak English. And I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to you the know school. What? I was like, oh, sorry. You <laughs> tried, and that's what counts. Because yeah. I, you know, my <laughs> beginnings, I was born and raised here in Miami. And let me tell you, I didn't speak Spanish properly. But I understood it. And yeah. people would make fun of you for trying. And I think that's the bad part. As long as you're yeah. trying, it's the most important. But... Again, I ladies, agree. I really, really appreciate you guys for mm. everything you're doing. You guys are such great role models. And thank that you. that just, to me, shows me you guys are going to be even better moms. So thank Aww. you again. Thank I you really so appreciate much. it. Yes. Thank you, too. Well, stay safe and healthy in Miami. Yes. Likewise. Muchas bendiciones. Muchas uh, gracias. gracias. Bye, ladies. Bye. Nice to you. <laughs> nice seeing you. Bye. 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 Oh, cool. The Bella Twins. <laughs> I love them. All right, guys, muchas gracias por tu tiempo. I appreciate your love. Don't forget, Latinx Now, we're on every day here on our social media. We'll have more update on everything, especially the Bella Twins. Bye, guys. Acuérdense que estamos todos los días a las 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Nadie tiene excusa. Todo el mundo está en cuarentena, así que... Ahora más que nunca estamos conectados con ustedes. O sea, literal, estamos en nuestras casas. Así es, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves y viernes a las 6 p.m. Eastern Time en Telemundo Entretenimiento, YouTube. Suscríbanse. Suscríbanse. Es gratis.